MSI sponsored our trip to Computex 2023, and we got to check out a lot of dope tech that they had available at their booth for us to see, including some new projects that they're working on, as well as some old favorites that have been upgraded in a major way. We started off taking a look at the Meg Trident X2 13th desktop. The Trident desktops are things that they've been releasing for years, and this latest generation is no doubt their best ever, with a lot of tweaks and changes to make sure that airflow and cooling are optimized more than ever to make sure that they are taking care of breathability for 13th gen Intel processors, as well as the latest RTX 40 series graphics cards. They're getting faster performance and cooler temperatures than ever with the Trident X2, which they had hooked up to some of their new QD OLED gaming monitors. We saw the Trident X2 hooked up to the Meg 342C Quantum Dot OLED gaming monitor. It's an ultra wide panel with an 1800R curve, 3440 by 1440 resolution, and up to 175 Hertz refresh rate and their pre-calibrated meet industry color accuracy standards with a Delta E of less than two. And they also only have a 0 0.03 gray to gray response time. It also has a front lighting bar for an extra touch of personal flair. You got the glow sync, which helps to synchronize the RGB lighting to what's happening on screen. And it really was a high class gaming monitor. On top of that, they showed off their 49 inch QD OLED super ultra wide concept. This thing shares a lot of similarities to the 342C, but is obviously completely different in that it is absolutely massive. We got to see Microsoft Flight Simulator played on this and it looked impeccable. You still get that 0 0.03 millisecond gray to gray response time, but this also offers up to 240 Hertz refresh rate while also having their gamer intelligence, which allows it to make sure that you're keeping the OLED fresh and active with tweaks that are happening behind the scenes on the display to do their best to make sure burn ins not going to take place. Then we got to check out Project Zero. This is the thing that I think Kyler was the most excited by. This is a gorgeous project that they had on display at Computex. It is absolutely aesthetically stunning because it's part of their PC with a back connector motherboard where all of the power ports, the fan ports, the USB 3s, the USB Cs, those are all relegated to the back so that you can keep your cable management on the back while enjoying the clean aesthetic that you see on the front. Currently, this is part of their B650M Project Zero motherboard and there might be more coming later, but they're really working towards having convenient clutter-free designs with their motherboards and bringing you sleeker PCs in the future. And in case you want to cool whatever PC that is, they also have their Core Liquid E360 water blocks that they showed off both in black as well as in white. And we got to see that as part of their new MPG Gungnir 300R airflow case. This is something that MSI has clearly put a lot of thought and attention into. It has things such as a built-in GPU support bracket that allows you to either have it so that you can show it off horizontally and in a typical mount, or you can rotate the vertical mount for the GPU support bracket so that you can do a vertical mount on the graphics card. They've really thought this through. Or if you are going to do a vertical mount on the GPU, they've implemented a way that you can actually grab additional airflow with a swivel 80 millimeter fan that's there, as well as two 60 millimeter fans to help push the airflow through the vertical mount card to make sure that your temperatures are dropping and not going to be as high as they would be in a typical vertical mount situation. It's got 360 millimeter radiator support. The omnidirectional graphics card holder is super cool. And it has a breathable front mesh that allows for three 120 mil fans right up front. The 300R airflow was definitely something that we enjoyed. We also live streamed the booth tour and people in chat were saying that this is one of the coolest PC cases that they're seeing because MSI is putting the consumer and the PC builder first, giving you all of these different options that make it so you can be very flexible with it. They also add their Z790 Max motherboards on display. These are for the current 13th gen Intel processors, but have things like Wi-Fi 7 support, additional power delivery upgrades, and they had four different versions of the Z790 Max that you can see on the show floor, including the Ace Max, the Carbon Max Wi-Fi, the Edge Max Wi-Fi, and the Tomahawks Max Wi-Fi. So MSI had a lot of cool stuff to show off, a lot of it consumer-centric, things that gamers have been asking for, delivering it in packages that are very presentable, very beautiful, and are definitely minded for people who want to create beautiful and stunning PCs that meet what they are desiring. So big thanks to MSI for sponsoring our trip to Computex this year. Be sure to check out all of the amazing stuff that they showed off this year, and we'll see you back for the next Computex video, my friends.